Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really good one. Basically it's a 3-in-1 because we're going to be doing a review on this palette. Also showing you guys swatches and also how to show you guys this really cool look right here. So if you're interested and you want to know more about this palette or how to get this look, keep on watching. So first things first, the palette comes in this really cool box like this. Of course it's by Urban Case, so they make like the greatest things. I'm a huge fan of their palettes. They come out with the dopest stuff basically. One of my all time favorites is the Urban Decay Electric Palette, also the Vice Palette. So they pretty much always come out with the coolest things. They have a range of so many cool colors, lip colors, and they're just a really good brand in general. So what I wanted to do was pick up this palette and my first thought when I saw this palette was I wasn't, well when I first saw it I saw it on Snapchat with like all the beauty gurus they all got it in their PR thing and I was like oh my god that palette looks so bomb I need to pick it up and I have to have it. So when I first saw it I was like oh yes I can't wait to come shop in stores and I need to go pick it up. So I first saw it at Ulta my first glance at it, I wasn't impressed like I was watching it on the Snapchats and all the pictures and everything that I've seen before. So I was really like, oh my god, is this the same palette? Because it doesn't look as cool. So I guess what the palette is, you know how they have like the display? It's been touched on, it's been out and everything, so it doesn't look as fresh and as brand new. So when I first saw it, I was turned off and I was like, mm, I don't want it anymore. It's, the swatches weren't that great. And I was like, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So a couple days passed, I went back again. And one of the girls that I knew that worked there, she showed me it and I was like, yeah, I wasn't really a fan of it. She was like, well, why don't you try using Too Faced Glitter Glue with it? It'll intensify it even more. So she showed me and I was like, oh my god, yes. And I have the glue. I use it all the time. And I don't know why I didn't think of doing that before. I guess I was just like not thinking. But I tried it with the glue and it is insane. The colors are so pigmented and I think just grabbing a New York palette with no one touching it, you get the better like swatches. For me, I don't know what was going on. I guess that palette was just touched by thousands of people but when I first opened the palette the swatches were beautiful it's even more beautiful with the glue so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so it really comes in this really beautiful package like this like gorgeous and I just realized when I was filming the video I was like moon dust and because the colors look like moon dust literally like they came from, like from the rocks of the moon and so it just looks just like this they're all glitters and they're really really dope the one I'm wearing on my eye is this one right here which you guys will see in the tutorial right now but let's go one by one with all the colors. The first one we have here is Spectre, which is this really pretty light pink shade. It's very good for like an inner corner highlight. Also we have Element, which is like more of this orangey color and just a nice, which has little flecks of pink in it. So it's really different and cool. Next we have Magnetic, which is more of a purple color, but also it's got some blue flex in it, so it really makes it different. Also we have Lightyear, which reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. It's like this really nice green color. It's like so bomb. Then we have Galaxy, which is this really pretty, like, dark blue. Literally, it looks like a rock from the outer space because it just looks so cool. And it has little flecks of purple and blue inside of it. Next one, we have Vega, which is this really pretty blue color, which I have on the inner corners of my eyes. And it's just so gorgeous. It's such a good statement blue color. Also, we have Lithium, which is this really, not like gold, it's more like a rusty gold, which is what I have on my lid, which was pretty cool, and I was kind of glad, well, I wish there was a more gold in here, but I'm kind of glad there isn't, because I always use gold, so I'm glad that this is something different, and I can, you know, step out and use different glitters in my looks. So the next one we have is Granite, which is this really dark gunmetal glitter, which I thought was pretty dope and different, and I always have trouble finding, like, a good silver glitter. Like, I don't want nothing that's too silver, but I don't want anything that's too dark. This was just perfect. But yeah, these are all the colors here. You get eight glitter colors, and they are all very pigmented. Okay, guys, we're going to jump right into the tutorial. I've already prepped, done my brows, and all of that 
good stuff. So basically, I'm going to put all the shadows that I used in the description bar below. But basically, you guys have these kind of shadows in your makeup. I'm just taking a light brown color and I'm going to work this right above my crease in windshield wiping and circular motions. You guys know the drill. I'm just going to be placing this and mapping out the shape of the eye as you guys saw earlier. It was just a round smoky eye and I'm basically only going to be using two colors. So I'm going to blend out this color going towards my brow bone. Then I'm going to be taking this gel liner from Wet n Wild and I'm going to be taking this little sponge applicator and I'm going to be blending that right on my lid. I'm not going to go too high up because it's going to be really intense and it's going to be a little bit tricky to blend later on but I basically want to focus this on the lid and you know just smoke it out. So what we're going to do is place that cream liner all on the lid, try keeping it in the form of the circle like how we want to keep the shape of the eye and I'm going to stop right before I get to my crease. And what I'm going to do is set it with some black eyeshadow. And then go in with a pencil brush and blend it out. And then go in with another pencil brush with a little bit of black and start adding to that color and really smoking it out towards the brow bone. Take this Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm going to be working that right in the center of my eyelid. And I'm going to be taking that Lithium Shade from the Moonstone Palette and adding it right there. And that's pretty much it for this look guys. There's not really a lot to it. It's really easy. Just take your time and practice with doing black on the lid like this. You really want to make sure you're blending and working little by little. You can always add more but you can never take back. So just add shadow after shadow and just make sure it's blended. And that's how you achieve this flawless smoky eye. I'm going to be taking my lashes from Eyelore Lashes. They're like these really new Lux Mink lashes. These lashes are so gorgeous. Like, I was so impressed that these were like from Ulta because usually you find like really simple lashes, but these were like dramatic and just so up my alley. So I was so obsessed with these. And just for mascara, I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Now, to continue at the bottom, all I'm going to do is take that light brown shade and blend it right under my waterline and then take this I forgot what brand it's from but it's just a little liner and I'm going to be adding this to my waterline and smudging it out hey guys okay we're back so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on this like right here it was really fun to do it's something different that I really haven't done in before and it's very like galaxy space type look deal so that's why I added this the blue literary star velour liquid lipstick in the shade of blue velvet. I thought it would just complement the eye look for sure. You can do any kind of lip you want to do, nude, black, anything. But this is the look right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on it. I actually hope you guys enjoyed the review on this palette. This is pretty fun. And this retails for $49. So I think it's a little pricey, but it's definitely really, really good. Especially if you want to just have a palette that has all your glitters in it. And it's something that's a little bit different out of the ordinary and it's got some really beautiful colors as you guys saw from the swatches so i really hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments all other info will be down in the description bar and i will for sure see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys next time